why Egypt is building a new capital city in the desert. It's been called one of the most ambitious construction projects in history. A city rising from the desert sands, built to house millions of people and transform Egypt's economy. But with such grand ambition comes great risk and uncertainty today. We take a closer look at why Egypt is building a new capital city in the desert and the challenges it faces along the way. The new capital city is a project unlike any other. Covering over 700 square kilometers of desert, it aims to ease the pressure on Cairo and provide a sustainable, modern urban environment for Egypt's growing population. But the question comes to mind, why did they choose this unfavorable location? There are several reasons why the Egyptian government has chosen to build the new capital city in an area that may seem unfavorable to some observers. One of the main reasons is that the government wants to create a city that's completely new, with a fresh start, and not burdened by the infrastructure and congestion of Cairo. By building the new capital city in the desert, the government can create a blank slate on which to build a modern, sustainable, and technologically advanced city. Another reason is that the government believes that the new capital city will be a catalyst for economic development and growth in the region. By building a city from scratch, the government hopes to attract investment and create new jobs, which will help to alleviate poverty and improve the standard of living for people in the surrounding areas. This, in turn, could have a positive impact on the entire country. Finally, the government may have chosen the location of the new capital city because it's relatively close to the existing city of Cairo. This will make it easier to move people and resources back and forth between the two cities, which could help to ease the burden on Cairo's infrastructure and reduce traffic congestion in the long run. LCC made the decision to relocate the capital from Cairo, which has served as the seat of government for over a thousand years due to a realization that the city is at risk of reaching a breaking point. With a population of 20 million residents and an additional 4 million who commute in and out daily, Cairo struggling to provide sufficient space and resources to meet the needs of its people. Our number one goal was to relieve the overcrowding and the traffic. Egypt's population is growing by 2 million every year. Construction and expansion all over the country is essential. Ahmed Zaki Abdin. The project, though, has suffered some setbacks. Abdin resigned, ostensibly for health reasons, but amid reports of costly flaws in some of the buildings. But with a project this size, there are bound to be challenges. Building a city from scratch is no small feat and the logistics of bringing in materials and workers to the remote desert location are daunting. But the project is not without controversy. Critics have questioned whether the government should be spending billions of dollars on a new city when there are so many pressing problems in Cairo and other parts of Egypt. They argue that the money would be better spent improving public transportation and infrastructure in the existing cities. Another challenge is funding. The cost of the new capital city is estimated at over $45 billion, and while the Egyptian government has committed to funding the project, there are concerns about its ability to meet its financial obligations. And then, there's the question of whether the city will actually be successful. Will it attract the investment and businesses needed to create a thriving economy? Will it provide the kind of sustainable modern urban environment that Egyptians need? and want. And there are also concerns about the impact of the new city on the environment and the people who live in the surrounding areas. Some worry that the construction and development of the new city will damage fragile ecosystems and disrupt traditional ways of life. But despite the controversy, the new capital city is moving forward, and for many Egyptians, it represents hope for a better future. The new capital city is not just a development project, it's a symbol of Egypt's potential and ambition. If it succeeds, it could be a model for other developing countries looking to create sustainable modern cities. If it fails, it could be a setback for Egypt's economy 
and a cautionary tale for others. So, there you have it, the new capital city in Egypt. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.